Hello everybody, this is Bill Williams. Welcome to another Life on Trahan Creek series video. In today's video, I invite you to join me for part two of Can I Outsmart a Fox? Coming up next. off in part one of Can I Outsmart a Fox? The fox was ahead, three rounds to nothing. Or if you count the preliminary round, four rounds to nothing. But I'm going to catch up. Now that was on December the 6th, and unfortunately, I caught the flu right after that. Just getting out of it now. My voice is still raspy, so I apologize for that on this video. And I still don't feel very good. When I got sick with this flu, I pulled all my traps as well as my game camera cards. And they've been out of commission for the last 12 days. But today, I set some new steel and we will see what happens. Got a few traps out. Didn't really put a full line out because I just don't feel good. But I got a few out in the area where we've been seeing the fox. And I'm going to show you a little video of the very last uh, game card that I pulled so you can see what uh, has developed. In this clip, we see four deer walking around in front of the camera, nervously pacing and looking at the camera. The, a lot of deer use this area at night, as do all kinds of other animals. The fox have to take their turn with these other animals. Selective trapping just for the fox isn't easy with all of these other animals visiting the trap sets. The fox, however, is a regular visitor to the wetlands too, hunting it just as do the other animals. Pay close attention to this clip. Did you see the eyes in the background? I think we have two fox. Let's watch it again in slow motion. Do you see the eyes? They're looking at this fox and they're only about 10 or 15 feet behind the fox. They didn't leave, they just looked away. Keep looking, watch what happens. There they are again, looking at the fox. This time when they look away, I think the other animal leaves. I believe that's the male fox, and the one we're looking at in this video in the foreground is the female. What do you think? Please leave me your comments. This large black dog came by to pay his respects early this morning. It shows the problem I have trying to catch one type of canine when there are other type of canines coming by. 21 minutes later, we get a quick glimpse of the fox coming by. Did you catch it? Here it is again. Summing this up, I may have two fox to catch. That's actually good news. It increases my chance of making a catch. Hopefully I'll get them both. But I got my work cut out for me with all the other animals parading around in the same wetland. The fox just can't stay there very long before something else moves on in. So I got some traps out. Stay with me and let's see what happens in the next episode. Thanks for watching.